What's up guys? Today we're going to be making steak fajitas. We got the onions, we got the peppers, we got the steak, we got the jalapeno. Let's throw it all on a tortilla and you're good to go. Way easier than it looks on TV. Way cheaper than you get it at a restaurant. So, let's get into it. And here we are back at one of my favorite places in the kitchen, the cutting board. Here we have a big piece of skirt steak. We're gonna start by just drying this off with a paper towel. That's gonna help take some of the moisture out. You don't want a lot of water in the steak because it'll keep the steak from frying right and it will make the steak tougher because the water is forced to evaporate when it hits the hot stove. We're using a skirt steak for this. It's a medium quality steak, not super expensive, pretty readily available. And I'm kind of a cheapskate, so it's perfect to not break the bank and still get a really good meal. Now for the cuts, we're just gonna cut it like traditional steak fajitas, just small strips. I realized that the bottom of this piece has a lot of fat on it, so I start trimming some of the fat off. You want some of the fat because that's where a lot of the meat flavor comes from, but obviously you don't want just pieces of chewy fat when it comes to steak in any regard, especially steak fajitas. Next, our steak is ready for the stove top. So at this point, we're gonna start with a very hot pan. We wanna get a hard sear on it if we can, but still leave it a little bit undercooked in the middle so that when we throw it in in the end, it'll finish cooking, but it won't be overdone, it won't be stiff. It'll be nice and tender and well cooked. So the high heat is obviously gonna aid in the sear. So you don't wanna be turning it around too much. Just put it on there, let it sit for a while, and then flip it. At this point, we can also season it. I'm gonna be using salt and pepper. I use chili lime, a little bit of cumin, nothing too crazy. You wanna keep that like natural steak flavor, but a few enhancers never hurt anybody. So once it's been cooking on a few minutes on both sides, you're ready to take it off the heat. At this point, if you have a cooling rack, that's gonna be the best option. So it cools very evenly, the top and the bottom. And now we go to the vegetables. So for the vegetables, I'm gonna be using one bell pepper, two jalapenos, uh, a whole onion, and two cloves of garlic. For the peppers, we're gonna cut them in half, we're gonna decor them, we're gonna de-vein them and de-seed them, and then cut them into strips. That's gonna be the traditional fajita way, so we're keeping that up in this dish. For the onions, same exact thing. Cut the tips off, take the skin off, and then cut them into large strips. As far as the garlic, I'm just gonna give this a standard fine mince, nothing crazy. The more you mince the garlic, the more you're gonna taste the flavor. So if you leave large chunks of garlic, you're not gonna taste it as strongly as you would if it was very finely minced. Now our vegetables are ready for the stove top. At this point, same thing as steak, we're actually gonna start with a very high heat. You do want some browning and almost some blackening, some char on these vegetables. And that's why the fajita is always served traditionally very hot and steaming you want that char on some of the vegetables so normally I would do kind of a medium heat for a saute this is gonna be like a hot sear of the vegetables so get some blackening on there don't be afraid of it it's not burnt it's just a little bit of char at this point we're also gonna season the vegetables some more chili lime some salt and pepper I'm also gonna put some water in there to help them cook fully without burning them and I'm also gonna squeeze a lime in there and if you want just go ahead and throw the lime in there give it a little mix there's no seeds in there so there's nothing to worry about there just make sure you take it out before you serve it because it will not impress your friends. Taste the vegetables when you're happy with the cook on them, you're happy with the seasoning, we can throw the steak back in there, get that nice and mixed, put the final seasoning on there. I want a little, little taco seasoning, a little more salt, a little more pepper, make sure that's all stirred. You want a little bit of a sauce, but nothing too crazy. So it's just the water, the oil, and the taco seasoning makes a pretty good sauce. And that's all you really need for that. So at this point, we're gonna chop up some scallions pretty finely, sprinkle those on top because it's kind of my thing. I love scallions, a little bit oniony, a little bit garlicky, a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. It's just the perfect topper for most dishes. We'll slap down a flour tortilla, give it a little drizzle of the lime juice, give it a little sprink of the scallions, wrap it up and eat it. If you wanna add sour cream, salsa, do that and you're pretty much good to go. Definitely 30 minutes or less, definitely delicious and honestly, super simple. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's it for today's episode. We got steak fajitas at home, a lot easier than you might think, probably 30 minutes or less, and you know the rest. See you guys in the next one.